what is best in life. Today we join uh, Sultan Alandin Elg. He has reformed the Sultanate last episode and no sooner has he reformed this, the Sultanate than he gets a shooting pain striking in his chest and let's see if it actually passes. Right now I get the uh, I get the incident chest pains so I'll see if I succeed that or not. Now I'm running out of uh, easy conquests. I hold uh, most of the salt. I hold most of this uh, blue sultanate of moose jaws, except for these two uh, sheikdoms here, and this series of sheikdoms here, which are held by the Byzantine Empire and the Empire of Spain. I hold these two sheikdoms, including a uh, Zoroastrian holy site. And my chancellor is down here in Dashistan, trying to formulate a claim on in order to allow me to uh, retake that Zoroastrian holy site. But all that leaves is these two sites, and they are unfortunately held by, actually this one is not, uh, they are, yes it is, they're held by the Sultan of Iraq, who can muster more troops than I can, 5,000, oh gosh, and he's even increasing that from his Demesne, is going to be increasing. So can I declare war on him? I could. How many troops? I can only raise... Uh, I can only raise 4,000 and the Sultan, and I have 1,800 gold. How much gold does the Sultan of Iraq have? He only has 196 gold. And let me see here. And yes, he's going to be able to increase his overall uh, army size by 2,000 more. So actually, I think I will go ahead and I'll declare war for uh, Karakum. And he's going to bring in, who else is he going to bring in? The Emir of Palmyra, who can bring in another 3,000. See, that's really not a war I should be fighting at the moment, or not a war that I could win. Um, what I would like to do is to take on Zabolistan. Let's just get the clock going here. And uh, I'd like to take on Zabolistan, and he can raise 3,000 troops, plus the uh, Maharaja, another 4,000. So that's actually... Uh, 6,000 troops. Uh, let's see here. Sheikh Havaz thinks it's quite likely I have rabies. I'll follow his instructions. I wish I had a Chinese. Oh, that's something I could do. I could interact with the uh, Chinese Empire to try to get a Chinese physician. Sheikh Hafiz was certain that your illness was caused by too much laughter to make you better. He forbade everyone to tell you jokes and provided you with tedious, to tedious tomes. Uh, I am glad I hired Hafez, and that actually uh, gives me a boost to my health. So I can uh, send a commander, or send a eunuch, or send a gift, or send an artifact. Uh, let's see here. All right, now I have gained a fever. This is not good. Can I send a eunuch? Uh, my courtier? All right, I'll send a eunuch and send a commander. I don't have very many good commanders. I do have one with the 16. And all right, I'll send him as well. Uh, the Heavenly Li, Emperor of the Tang Empire, has graciously accepted your gift. We're bound to find work for a man with the physique of Pashtang. The generosity of the Jaws, Jaws dynasty will not be forgotten. I aim to please. So I now have 380. Um, oh, and here we go. Another acceptance of my gift. Oh, wait. The generosity of the Jaws dynasty will not be forgotten. I can see how my choice of tribute may seem miscalculated. Um, but he has accepted the gift. So now can I ask for a boon? I can no longer ignore the irritation in your throat. You begin to violently cough. I gain the trait coughing. And 
And I guess I can't have a court physician from China because I've already have my own court physician. So actually, I could try to take land from this area as well. Uh, great, my wife is pregnant. So is there anyone from Irubil, the Sultan of Algiers, Azira? He can only raise 4,000 troops. And he's actually over his limit. He's going down and he has no packs. Um, oh, I've got a non-aggression pact with him, though. Darn it. Erbil, Sultan of El Jazeera. He can raise 4,000 troops. And what started out as a mere cough has now turned into shaking chills, shortness of breath, and stabs of severe pain in the chest. I have contracted pneumonia. Uh... Your court physician has come to see you and offers you treatments for your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatments that he can offer as long as you know what you're doing. Sheikh Havaz insisted that your humors were out of balance and that the best way to restore them would be through bloodletting. After consulting the astronomical charts, he decided that you should be bled from your armpits and temples. I probably shouldn't have agreed to this and that gives me negative one health. So now, having had such a successful run of forming the Sultanate and being at the young age of 23, am I going to pass from this earth already? I just don't know. Yes, I am. I died of pneumonia. Another Sultan, Alandin, is dead. Ah, I have a new heir if I actually only survived about five or six years uh, through the minority of this character. I have a new heir. If my uh, character dies now, you will play as Prince Alandon Elg. All right, so, and th this character is a five-year-old. However, I th was hoping, so I have an appointed regent and my regent is Sunni as well, unfortunately. I should have appointed a regent who was a Zoroastrian at least. My marshal, the court physician, the one who killed my earlier character. And I believe that my educator, she's a Tengri. That's changed. It wasn't my mother before. I had appointed a Zoroastrian to be my educator before. And so is there anyone positive or anyone useful that I could get married to? At this tender age of five, there's an attractive princess of Arabia. Um, hmm. There's an attractive 11 year old who already has some stats. And there's plotting behind my back. So there are dangerous factions forming. 99% 99% power of my liege. And my uh, my uh, increased council power. My kinsmen, my two kinsmen are plotting to increase the council power and my regent is helping them. Can I send a gift to the regent? to get him to drop out and uh, Sheik of Tabaristan. Um, so I have open council positions. Oh, there's the court and man. Boy, does this guy hate me. Demesne too big. Oh. It's dropped because I'm an unmarried child now, so I don't get the additional 
there's only one person qualified to be my court and man, and he's 70, and his learning is five. I guess I can get him researching cultural tech. I should have upgraded the, uh, done this earlier. Yeah, that's why I didn't do it. There's no great uh, choices I can make to increase Gurgan. Um, there's the city, the mosque, and another barony, but this is a barony that I hold indirectly. There are dangerous council factions, but I have enough wealth to put them down. Um, I'll increase the council tax. Uh, and the sheik keeps getting the same other sheik to join all his council factions. He must have joined about three factions by now. Oh, sheik Alexan for the Jaws Shadam. The Queen Mother has used her considerable influence to step in as your regent. May the realm benefit from her wisdom and experience. The Queen Mother is now the regent. All right. She's only 28. Can she marry anyone useful? Um, the Kagan of... So it's another regency. A child loses, uh, lacks a focus. Just give her duty. She's a Zoroastrian. Now, the Kagan's powerful, it's just he's relatively far away. Not terribly, not ridiculously far away. But could he get an army through these mountains and through the Byzantine Empire to help? I suppose he could, if he were an ally. Now, with these factions, is my spymaster... Yes, the spymaster is scheming, and now he schemes for everybody is there I guess I'll just get him to perform statecraft and this Sheik Jaws keeps using a favor it's like he's used about three or four favors and repeatedly gets him to join these factions 58% uh, of the liege Sheik Alandon for the Jaws shot him increased power this is the only one that I really don't want. I can put down the other ones at 58 and half of a percent. And I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Kurgan is doing well. People are happy and the tax records are rec and it's record taxes. That's great. And how is the trade post of Kurgan? Can it be upgraded? It got raided again. Yes, I should have done this a long time ago. I'll increase the take from the trade post. I think China must be the Silk Road. Yes, there's unrest on the Silk Road, so therefore the uh, trading post isn't performing as well as it usually does. I'm only taking in half the income I normally do. And uh, so... It was a delight tormenting El Galandon, calling him El Galandon, the cowardly chicken, and other epithets. And if that didn't work, punches, kicks, or destroying his things, El Galandon was easy prey until he punched back. Oh, ow, my nose, you'll pay for this. So he, I have become bitter, bitter rivals with my brother. I guess I'll have to do some carousing. The court musician's word and his singing brought justice to the poetic form Ga Gahazel. A poetic expression of both the pain of separation and the beauty of love in spite of that pain. Play it just one more time, please. It would be nice if I could get some Casas Belli on these. Uh, less powerful 
Sheik of Hormuz. Oh, okay, the Sheik of Hormuz isn't that uh, powerless. Where is... Oh, he's just got the one area. And I don't have any, I don't have much prestige, so that's why people don't like me too much. Although this guy must be my rival or something to dislike me that much. And I will be a, some of them are Zoroastrians, so I'll be a heretic as, or an infidel as well. And again, he's using this favor. So nothing much is going on. The trade post is... Oh, and I definitely need a steward to keep my taxes high. None of these people like me. Is there a strong wife? I have been praying with you, man, for a while, and some of the other people in the temple are getting ready to leave. Ada will, Allah will notice my dedication. I can collect and keep the alms for myself. After a whole night of religious ritual, I started getting hungry and my wine wa mind wandered. Maybe Allah is happy with the time I spent here. Uh... I am being tested. I must stay here. I'll gain 15 piety in the trait idolizer. It could be zealous erudite uh, or frail. Hopefully not frail. It could develop into, so I am zealous. And the Sheik Quinte used yet another favor. I don't know. He must be buying these favors. I'm not sure where he's getting so many. Here's a strong woman. Um, strong is a pretty good trait. Be nice to get quick. Okay, here's a couple of quicks. Uh, she's a three year old. I'm six. I will marry a quick woman. A genius would be better, but quick is what we can uh, achieve at the moment. And I will I will get the Chancellor. Is there a better Chancellor? Although this is Jaws, he has a skill of 14, and he's Sheik of Galan. And he can try to fabricate a claim. On Dehistan or on uh, Dashistan, Dosh Testan. I have been watching medieval movies recently, and there is one made in 2013 uh, starring Ben Kingsley, the physician, and it is actually an outstanding uh, movie, or actually a very, very good movie. It's about a London. Uh, orphan boy who becomes a physician and he learns of the uh, so-called best physician in the entire world which is uh, Ibn Sina and Ibn Sina is in Persia and he disguises himself as a Jew 
And that part, I'm not entirely sure if he would have to actually do that. But nevertheless, he disguises himself as a Jew to travel to Persia and learn to become a uh, doctor and our uh, harem. And if you read, Ibn Sina turns out to have been a real man. And unlike most uh, doctors of the Middle Ages, he does actually seem to have made some actual growth in the uh, body of medical knowledge and his life as Ibn Sina he started out in uh, where was he Ibn's birth was in a village named near Burkhara in Uzbekistan and then he traveled uh, in, he actually worked for the real Emir of Tabaristan for a while and became Grand Vizier. Uh, Ibn Sina found asylum with him. And then he went to Gorgan, which is, of course, my province over here. And Ibn Sina was there for a while. And then he went to, then I think he went to Khorasan. And he eventually uh, founded his school of learning in Esfahan, which is, of course, uh, Esfahan here. Uh, oh, the Byzantines are here. What are they doing? 11,000 of them. They're besieging Kurdistan. Some boy, somebody better drive them out. Yikes. Let me slow things down here so I can figure out what's happening. Assign guardian. Uh, no, I don't want you to take my brother. How rejecting this is going to be. Uh, I'm going to decline it. Does Basilius here have claims? Negative 81%, we're going to lose this war. What is he actually claiming? Tabriz. Tabriz is the war. Oh no, he's taking one of my provinces in Azerbaijan. Oh no. This is a war I have to actually get involved in. I believe that one of my vassals can be discouraged from associating associating with conspiratorial factions. If the proper leverage is obtained, I will obligate the vassal. And what about commanders? Uh, don't have much in the way of commanders, but at least they're over 10. Thank you for reminding me. So the Sheik of Tabriz is no longer conspiring. So these factions are now 79% uh, plus. Uh, all right, so that's dropped to 29%, 45%. And I also um, I also have the money again to stave off a rebellion if I have to. And Sheikh Quinte keeps getting all these favors to get people to join, to rejoin these factions. But thankfully, he's not, uh, they're not powerful enough yet. Um, Prince Elg. Uh, can I change it to Heritage? And then assign a guardian. Someone with a high diplomacy score who's a Zoroastrian.
And then is there someone my brother could marry? Perhaps the other quick um, person. Strong, six-year-old. Yes, we will use the uh, Dashistan claim for sure. Now, can I find this quick? There we go, quick. I should go to the bottom. There's another quick and check to see if there's a genius. For some reason, the search feature doesn't work uh, in the marriage. If I just go genius, I won't get anything, but if I go quick, I've already found three quick people. If I go quick, I won't search either. So um, you have to actually manually search this whole list. And now that I'm a sultan, there's lots of people who want to marry me or marry my brother. So are there any geniuses that will marry? There's an attractive. This guy does love his factions. Strong. And no. So I will go back and try to find. Here's a strong. Uh, news from China. The long period of unrest and sporadic popular uprisings in China has turned into a full-blown civil war. Many think that the emperor Lai is weak and has lost the mandate of heaven. Even as he cowers, Massive rebel armies are on the move, attacking loyalist strongholds. Still, the rebels have not yet gathered under a single leader, and different factions are fighting, are even fighting each other. Silk Road profits are halved, and tributary states can use this opportunity to break free. China will not be able to assist them should they be attacked anyway. Well, that's unfortunate. And here we go. We'll marry my sister, and hopefully my brother will... Uh, become Zoroastrian, and I will appoint a marshal, Commander Elg, get training troops in Gurgan. Oh, and I lost the war, and the Byzantine Empire has conquered that area while I was busy trying to find a wife. They swooped in and won this area from me. Well, that's disappointing. So... Time to disband my troops. And how powerful is Nizamid? Oh, it's in revolt. Nizamid Sultanate can raise 9,000 troops and no real packs. Although he's got a non aggression pact with Badashah, the Arabian Empire. Uh, the Sultan, it's, it's this Sultan who's too powerful, although he's lost his Sultan of the Tangled Sultanate. I did have a non-aggression pact with him. Um, declare war. I need it to be approved by my council and I need a hundred piety neither of which I have, especially the uh, piety part. Although, yes, actually, I do have the piety. However, I could form an, uh, I could form an uh, alliance with him and gain an ally with 4,000 troops, perhaps, anyway. And then I could go after the Sultan of Iraq, who has 7,000 troops now. And he's going to gain another thousand troops in time from his Demesne. But he doesn't have any packs anymore, at least. But he has 8,000 troops. So it would have to be approved by my council. Uh, there's a big feast tonight for many prominent people invited. And it has been decided that I shall perform a song in praise of Allah for the guests. Uh, no way. Uh, yes, I will sing. Gain 30 piety. And open council positions, the court chaplain, the court imam, nobody can fill it. That's odd. I suppose we could invite a uh, holy man to court. 
that would cost us 25 piety, and perhaps not having it a man is all right. At times you can't shake the feeling that your regent, shake a land and a Balamut, does not always have your best in mind, claiming it will build character. He has given you the dangerous task of scrubbing away bird droppings from the castle roof. If you lose your balance even once, isn't this what servants are for? 80% chance, a roof free of bird excrements. 20% chance, the salt in the land and the fourth dies. And alas, we will end the episode there. Sultan Alandin IV uh, did not make it out of his regency. He is eight years old. And now the six-year-old Sultan Alandin V comes to the Shadam, or comes to the Sultanate, uh, having lost a couple of territories, vital territories to the Byzantine Empire. Uh, Sultan Alandin will now try to survive, and he too is a Sunni, unfortunately. I was hoping that perhaps uh, he would have converted. He would have uh, converted to uh, Zoroastrianism by now. But anyway, that's where we'll leave the episode. Uh, another episode, another Sultan. I hope you enjoyed this one, although we didn't accomplish much. Uh, before being off while cleaning the roof. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, just consider hitting the uh, follow button and the little bell so you get notification of my other videos. And please consider following me on Facebook. Have a good day.